Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. Now, you can see I've been working on my bot a little bit. You guys have pointed out some really good things uh, that I kind of wanted to go back and do, which mainly was the balance. As you guys can see now, the bottom is all venture blocks, and it has the exact same amount of wheels all the way around it. Uh, in fact, now it has a center of gravity right here in the center. It has three wheels in the front, three wheels in the back, and one wheel in their center. The center block is my main bot, so it should be the heaviest out of all of them. Uh, I'm assuming. I don't know what the weight is on that one, but I'm hoping it's uh, it's a little bit more level now. I do have a wheel here on the back, which may throw it off slightly because there's nothing really here on the front. Uh, so we'll just have to see how that works off. I may take that wheel out. Uh, I do have a weapon here on the front. Uh, that's mainly to kind of first give my guy a little bit of attacking power, at least something, uh, in case I get stuck on a rock or something like that, like I did last time. But to off-center uh, this, uh, this wing here in the back, as you can see, uh, the rudder. And as you can see, when I turn left or right, it actually turns left or right with me. So I'm hoping that will work. You'll also see I got some boosters on here, these, um, what are they called, the foreign steering boosters. And when I turn left, nope, there we go. When I turn uh, in, in a certain direction, they fire in that direction. So hopefully that will give me some... In fact, when I turn left... Oh yeah, because they both fire. Nice. So I'm hoping that will give me the, the added, uh, you know, steering that I really, really desired in the last time. And as far as the wings go, or the, the propellers go, they're all lined up perfectly with each other. They all have GSO blocks instead of Venture ones, because they just didn't have enough Venture ones to go around. And I'm hoping the size doesn't matter. Some of these are two, some of them are one. Uh, you know, they're still lined up perfectly, but... Uh, in fact, I think they actually are, yeah, they're they're both uh, just fine. Yeah, they're all the exact same. So this this should go very well, I'm hoping. Uh, in fact, we're about to find out here, guys. So uh, let's see, what, what direction do we want to go in? I kind of want to go in this direction because it's flat out there. And I like the flat terrain rather than the mountain terrain. Because if I get stuck over here on this side, uh, I don't think this bot could do it. I don't think this bot is going to get back. And I would hate to lose everything that we put into this guy. So I'm going to go out into the salt flats, even though I know... It's more dangerous. It's still flatter, and in that regards, uh, still safer for me. So let's see. Ooh, baby, nice, nice. I like this. Oh no, I'm still going back. Okay, okay, hold on. Now I've been told to hit the build mode before you crash. Let's see if that works. No, it didn't. It did not work, and I'm about to lose a wheel there. Wow, that was a lot of damage. So I guess they figured out that is a method that some people used. I thought it would be uh, kind of a cheat to do that, which is to use the build mode. And uh, I, I didn't really want to tr do it too much, but I wanted to try it to see if it at least worked. I'm glad that they they knew that was a thing and they, they took that out because it's it's kind of a cheat. You know, it kind of seems like, oh, I'm about to crash at the safety button or something. You know, like it's that's not really a thing, I don't think. Uh, what can we put in the front? Maybe a light? You think a light has enough weight? I'm thinking it's the the wing here in the f in the back, the the, the aerofoil, that's causing my guy to kind of tilt backwards. There's just not enough weight in the front. Uh, what could we put up there? Maybe maybe grab this weapon and put that in the front. That should at least make the front a little bit heavier. And I don't mind the front being too too much heavier than the back. At least it will point me in the right direction. There we go. Oh whoa 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 whoa! That is too heavy. No, 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 no. Oh, holy crap. That is too heavy, guys. Wow. I had no idea that weapon had so much weight to it. Wow, you can see the difference in the weight when you do it like this. This is amazing. Uh, when you have a normal bot, you don't really get to see that. Yeah, at some point, it becomes too heavy for you to move around with the wheels you have, but you can't really see the fact that you add one weapon, uh, you know, making that big of a difference. Maybe I will... Uh, that's not what I want to take off. There we go. Maybe I will put the light on there. Which light should I use? Should I use just the regular one? Or maybe maybe I'll start with the big one first and see if that makes a difference. We'll do this one right here. Hopefully I don't lose it because these are, these are not easy to come by and they're not really cheap either. And it may be all about the placement too. Like putting it right here on the front may be just a bad idea. Maybe I should put it up here on the top with the weapon. We'll just have to mess around with that. But I bet the light is going to be far less uh, you know weight. Let's take off. Okay, so look at that. It's going forward. Nice. And I, I cut it out every so often because I don't like to get too high just in case I do. Come on, come on, come on, take off, take off. 
Yes, this is working, guys. Holy crap. No, 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 no. It's still too front heavy. Holy crap, no. I can't stop here. Why do I always crash when there's an enemy around? Build mode. There we go. Woo. Get out of here. Get out of here. Holy crap, there's a guy right there. Okay, so how am I going to do this? It's a little too heavy in the front. Maybe maybe a smaller light would have been the, the way to go because that seems like it helps, but a little bit too much. Just a tad bit. Uh, did any of you guys see a base? And I've been told to look on the map for enemies in groups. And usually when you find enemies in groups, they're protecting something, and it's usually a base. Uh, what does that guy have over there? Anything good? Doesn't look like it. I'm really looking for a battery, but I don't really have the skill at the moment with the weapons that I have on this guy. Holy crap, guys. Woo, baby. Dang. Well, there's something over here. No, 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 no. I can't wait until they add graphics out here into the sand. So when you do this, you start kicking up sand. Oh, no, 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 no. Build, 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 build. Oh, no. It doesn't quite work. Like, you have to touch the ground first before you can go into that build mode. And that's pretty weird. Uh, what is this guy? Is it a base? Because I missed a base on one of my videos. One of you guys pointed that out when I was flying around. I wasn't really looking for bases. I was, well, I kind of was, but I thought that block was mainly um, like pieces from a bot that had gotten destroyed. There's wheels on that sucker. So that is not a base. Although it looks like it maybe has batteries on it. Is that a battery on the back or is that a light? If it has a battery, we're taking it on with one weapon or not. Uh, I don't know. It might be. Nope. It's not a battery. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want you. You're not worth my time, buddy. Now, will he keep coming after me after I've attacked him? Or will he just be like, oh, I can't handle that guy. I'm out of here. Woo, baby. Oh, my God. Okay, let's, let's cut the engines. Oh, my God. I wish there was a way to, like, dial down the engines a little bit. No, 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 no. Yeah, we're still way too front heavy uh, to really make this work. Come on, come on, come on. Build, 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 build. Come on. Oh, crap. There we go. No, what just happened there? Oh, my God. Seriously, you're going to do that right here next to all these guys? Dang it. Okay, let's, let's build this back. Oh, you know what happened is I lost the block down here. It just took one too many hits. Uh, what about the wheels? Can I put the wheels on? This is going to be sticky getting back because we're going to be off center now. Great. Come on, put the wheels back where I want them. This guy's going to come over here and just beat me to a pulp in any second now. Yep, there he is. Come on, put this on, man. What is your deal? You're usually pretty easy to, to mess around with and now all of a sudden you want to give me a difficult time? Oh, I'm so off. Oh, I should have brought some extra blocks or something, but I'm just trying to just trying to get this thing to actually fly for me and oh no this is okay we might have to uh, go back the old-fashioned way and I don't have any wings on this sucker so it shouldn't take off per se but we may have to do it anyways if we get attacked we may just have to to take off a little bit I should at some point bring a repair bubble with me but like I said I was trying to limit the amount of items that I put on this because every item you put on is another variable when you're trying to figure out how best to do the weight and this is a completely new you know style of playing for me I've never really messed around with the, the planes until now because there really wasn't any planes to mess around with this was something they added I think like two or three patches ago and so it's fairly new and it's still kind of uh, you know they've, they've changed a lot of the controls I mean they didn't used to have weight in the game so you could have these really weird and uh, funky designs with like two wheels or three wheels and it's you can't do that anymore you gotta have a lot of freaking wheels on your thing if you wanted to be able to do what you wanted to do so uh, yeah there's there's quite a bit of changes that I've had to uh, get accustomed to oh come on get back over here my base isn't under attack right it's not like I could do anything about it if it was but I mean it has shields but they only have shields during the day which is kind of, uh, you know, disconcerting. Holy crap, there's a little bit of lag there, guys. More and more of these blocks. And I did think about, at one point, maybe uh, using the uh, the Geocore ones, but they're really expensive. They're like 1600 bucks a piece. And so it would have taken me a long, long time. Oh, this lag. Give it a second to catch up, apparently. And I will be getting a new computer here uh, fairly soon, so hopefully... That will help clear up a little bit of it, but I've heard from some of you guys 
that you guys got state-of-the-art computers and you still get lag with this game. So I think it's mainly to do with the fact that they're still trying to, you know, iron out a few of the uh, the programming issues with this uh, to make it more uh, streamlined for people's uh, systems and use less RAM and all that other stuff. And until they do, uh, there's going to be a few issues here and there. Let's pop this sucker off. I do have some extra blocks over here that I don't even have to buy. I think this is a good design. I think we're going to stick with this design for now. And I'm going to try it again. But this time I'm going to go with the smaller light instead of the bigger one and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. We really didn't lose any pieces of, of consequence. I mean, I have tons of wheels. And maybe not a good idea to use venture blocks down here on the bottom because they are so weak compared to the Geocore ones. But in the end, I think, uh, you know, because we were worried about weight to start with, I think that was the best bet that we uh, we had going for us at the time. Let me come over here and see if any of these blocks need to be repaired. Yeah, a few of them. Not very much, though. Let's see, we got some extra wheels here, so let's throw those on there. And I will move those around in a second. Not exactly the easiest base to get in and out of, that's for sure. Uh, come on, move. I'm stuck on a wing. Look at that, right over here, the stupid little wing is... So I'll pull that off, back up, and I'll just reattach it. Eh, of course you had to get stuck on that. Why wouldn't you? Let's see. How are we going to get in here? We'll do this right here. And put one more wheel down. Nope. Don't want to do it, do you? And I like showing the build mode, guys. Uh, I know some of you have asked not to see that as much. But especially with this design, I think if I actually get it to work and any of you guys want to duplicate it, uh, you're going to want to see like how it was done so that you can avoid some of the mistakes. and uh, Some of them are kind of costly mistakes that uh, I have done. You know what? I could go with a different weapon instead of this one. But I like this one up here uh, because it actually turns to face the enemy rather than, uh, than some of the other ones. But we will go with a different light. Maybe this one right here. And again, maybe placement will have something to do with it. But I'm hoping uh, it doesn't too much. I know it's going to, but okay, let's... Let's head off in a different direction. We've let's go this way, and we haven't really gone off and searched this direction. And I'm hoping this time it works. Let's see if it takes us off. Well, no, 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 no! Come on! What is the deal? Why is it so front heavy? Build mode, build mode, build mode, build mode. Come on! Dang it! Already damaged. What? I don't understand it. Let's let's instead of doing this, we'll put it up here. I mean, it's not really going to be even. It might go more to the left, but at this point, I'd be willing to accept that. Uh, let's go back and repair real quick because that was a pretty big hit. There we go. It's going straight up. No, it's still going front heavy. I may get rid of the weapon here real quick, guys, and just see if I can get this to work without the weapon. No, 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 no. No. Oh, my God. That was a pretty horrible... That was a pretty horrible landing. Yeah, we definitely need to go back. Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. And the shields are up finally. Yes. Okay. So we can at least repair. And you can see my resources over here actually come back every so often. It's mainly because I, I keep chopping them down while I'm over here and just trying to earn a little bit of cash without getting too far away from my base that I've been kind of, uh, you know, using some of those resources that I've been actually... should be saving for protection, actually, so... Let's get in here. Eh, not too much damage there, actually. And I wish I could take that with me. So let's take off the light. And we'll take off the weapon. I think the weapon is just too much. In fact, I may just keep the light on. Uh, because we do need something to off-center this wing. But maybe the wing doesn't weigh that much. Maybe I mean, it would make sense. Wings usually uh, don't weigh that much in real life. So let's over here. Come on. Nope. That's it. That's all we needed. Just, uh, just a little bit of damage. Wow. I, I figured it would be a lot more than that because if we had gone off, I'm pretty sure pieces of our bot were going to about to pop off and stuff. So let's make sure we take off from a flat piece of land. That's not easy to do. First finding one. Here we go. This this looks pretty flat. Sort of. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> it's not the ideal. That's why I like the flats out there because it's about as flat as you're going to get. Come on. Okay, see, look, I can turn. Yeah. Okay, it was the weapon that was doing it. Wow. I wonder if there's a limit to how high you can go. Uh, I don't really want to find it yet. Because if we crash... Ah, oh, I like this. It was the weapon. 
And you can still see the light. Holy crap, guys. Okay. We're going down. Oh, great. An invader? That's exactly what we need. We're going down a little bit because I think I'm going to remove the, the light. Come on, come on, come on before we crash. Light. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. Okay. Uh, where do I put I don't want to get rid of it completely. Let's put it here in the center. Maybe that will give it a little bit more mass to kind of stay back a little bit, but not too much. Let's see. What, oh, yeah. We can come over here. Nice. Salt flats. Let's see. Where is he at? Is he coming towards me? I don't see him. I mean, I know he's right over there, but I don't I don't see what kind of body he is. be interesting to see what it is, though. I might just go fly over his head. What do you guys think? Go, I'm going to go over there and tease him a little bit. <laughs> oh my god, I love flying, guys. Leave this area? I don't think so, man. How about you leave the area before I stomp on you? Payload Studio Rocker. Oh yeah, Rocker, what do you want? You can't handle this. What is that down there? Is that a base? Holy crap, guys, I think this is a base. It is. Oh, and I have no weapons. I have no weapons. Holy crap, there's batteries. Oh my god, can I kick myself right now? How do I pick these things up? You are... N oh my god, no. No! <laughs> I need a weapon. We are going back, and we are coming back to this location immediately. Oh my god, how do I get a weapon here? How on earth do I get a weapon? More importantly, how do I get this stuff back once I get the... I don't care about that, we're getting the weapon. No, 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 don't go destroying yourself now. Oh my god, dudes. No. No. That thing better be here when I get back. I, I want that battery. You don't know how bad I want that battery, guys. Actually, you guys watching this probably do by now. Come on, move in the direction I want you to go. What is your deal? You guys were moving just fine earlier. No. No. Oh, crap. Okay. Forget it. We're going back the old-fashioned way. We'll drive it if we have to. We'll use the, uh, the flying technique when we have to to get away from enemies but we need at least one weapon and that's why I wanted the weapon you know because right now I'd be able to pick that up I'd be able to go there and just kind of uh, take it apart piece by piece uh, you know very slowly and I could get caught on a tree too because that's fantastic that's exactly what I wanted oh my god this is why you need a weapon never leave home without one ooh look that guy oh, we're not even that far away from my base man I could come over here with my other guy in fact you know what? We might do that. Did this guy get hurt? I think this guy might have gotten hurt. He uh, he wasn't blinking like this earlier. Let's come in here and get repaired real quick. Uh, if we can. Come on, baby. You know what? <laughs> oh, yeah. We're taking our repair bubble with us. And uh, let's see. Do we have a shield generator? We do have a shield generator. Uh, but I'm going to leave that here for now. Yeah, we're going to take the repair bubble. Oh, yeah, we did get damaged. Look, some of our weapons are here on the ground. Uh, but they fought it off. They won. So I got to give them uh, I got to give them props on that one because they usually don't do that well without me here. So the fact that they even uh, survived this is a uh, is a step in the right direction. Come on. You get stuck on wheels because you know that I know I want something over there. Come on. I want my battery. I want my baby back, baby back, baby. Back. Come on, move it. Move it. Get out of my way, rock. You are not stopping me from getting what I want. And all I can hope is that stupid invader doesn't come over and start attacking me when I'm trying to get that base. Because if I destroy those batteries, I am going to be so ticked off. Unbelievably ticked off. If he destroys them, I'll be just be uh, unreconcilable. Uh, I mean, it's just not going to happen. That's I'd rather die. I'd rather run off and let him destroy me in some horrible fashion than allow that base to, uh, to get one little piece of damage uh, and end up being destroyed and look how close he is to it he knows and I have to enter his little his little area to get in there oh man this sucks why did you have to spawn right there oh, I don't know if we can do this we have to we have to be very very careful Shh, I'm hunting rabbits come on, yeah. I want my baby back come on oh, come on I'm stuck again what dang it the game has a sense of humor. It really does. It knows when you really want something, and it just goes all out to, to kind of stop you from getting it. Okay. What do I need to destroy here? 
to get all these pieces. Uh, uh, okay, that's gonna blow up everything. Dang it! What the crap? Okay, no, we're not doing that. You're 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 going away. You're all going away. I mean, you're not. Let's see. When I fire my weapon, how many do we get? Come on. Break apart already. Break off. You know you want to. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Come on. I don't want to destroy you. I don't really need these pieces. But I want to make sure this idea actually works. Where it will break these pieces off. There we go. Ah. Oh, about time. Okay. Uh, how do we get the rest of this? Uh... We're gonna have to get a little closer. Oh my god, this is just, what, too high? Is that what it is? Can I lower it down a little bit? There has to be an easier way to pick this thing up. Unbelievable. What is the... Okay, this is just ridiculous. I don't really have the wheels for this, but we're, we're gonna do it. Please don't blow up. Please, please, please. There we go. No! What is your... Ugh. You guys suck. There we go. There we go. I got my batteries. Yes! <laughs> Unbelievable, guys. I got my batteries. Oh. Oh, my God. I could not be happier at this moment. I want to get whatever this is over here. Um, move a little bit more. Power plant. Yes, I want the power plant. Okay. There we go. Grab it. Put it on. I don't care about that damage. We're taking the power plant. And the power plant, or the GSO small silo. Oh, that's cool, too. Nice, guys. We found some good stuff here. Unbelievable. This has been a win-win in my category, guys. We're going to go over here. In fact, if we uh, chop down some of these trees, you'll see what I mean by uh, what that does. In fact, we'll actually repair our stuff as we do that. So let's let's do that real quick. Let's chop some of this stuff down. Actually, we're going to just kind of not hit any of it. There we go. We need to uh, move this over here to the other side, the small generator, where all the pieces are. And I'll actually take this and move this out of the way. And we will move this over here so it can get repaired. And let's see if it goes inside of the, uh, the generator. Hopefully it will, because it should be able to power that up. Right? Isn't that what it's used for? GSO small generator consumes fuel and returns electricity. So as soon as it starts... How do we do that? How do we get it in there where it wants to actually go? Let's move this somewhere else and we'll move this closer up. There we go. Nice. Yes! Oh my god, yes. This is what we've been missing on our bots. Oh my god, we're going to put this on an airplane? And we're going to go off and kick some serious, but I don't care if we crash like a million times. As long as we got the power reserve and the batteries are safe and they're not going to explode on impact. Which is not a guarantee, so we may have to make our, our airplane a little bit bigger so that we can build some uh, protection around it. But Now for the fuel, you can use these uh, the black ore, which is uh, a pretty good fuel. Or you can use the trees. The trees, in any regards, are always like the least favorite, uh, you know thing for me to use on it on pretty much anything I want but look at the batteries they're already fully charged it did not take very much to do that at all oh, I love this this is fantastic and once I put my shield guy on here and redesign this guy a little bit this guy's pretty wonky and you know he wasn't meant to be in existence he was just something I put together because my original design got completely destroyed and I was like well you know I'll put something together so I can at least fight uh, is that an enemy I think it is. Uh, I guess we'll try him. Hopefully we can win this one. We do got the power. Depending on how many weapons he has and how fast he is. Come on, die, punk. You can't fight this. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, man. Oh, no. You're a punk. You know exactly where to go. Uh, come on. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. I need to hit him. There he goes. He has no wheels left on one side. That's fine. You're dead now. What do you got? What do you got? Anything good that I need? Uh, no, not really. I'll just destroy you. There we go. I'll get some of your weapons. That's something I definitely could use. 
whether for my bot itself or for my base, uh, mainly for my bot, I think, because I'm gonna I'm gonna design the crap out of this later on. This is gonna be awesome. Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys! I can't believe I'm excited about getting a freaking uh, battery. And all my other playthroughs, the battery was not even an issue. Like you find that right off the bat. Uh, in the last what two or three playthroughs that we've gone through, I haven't been able to find one of those to save my life, and that's pretty much been a disaster. I mean, without your shields and without your repair bubble, you constantly have to stay next to your base to go back and forth, back and forth, and it's just, it's not cool. Like, it's not something you enjoy doing. Oh, yeah, this is going to be nice, because now I can transfer batteries to my base as well, so when I come back, my base is still intact. It still has its shields, because they do like to attack during the night. Uh, I have seen that for myself, and it's it's uh, it's kind of funny that they're that smart, that they're able to uh, to figure it out and be like, oh, it's nighttime. Let's see, you know, it's perfect time to uh, go over there and destroy them. And you can see I'm getting quite a bit of lag here, mainly for the fact that I got so many of these little items on my bot. Well, what did it make? Did it make something new? A rubber brick. Rubber is used in the fabrication of all wheels with a type of flexible and elastic block. That's kind of, uh, does it have a new illusion to it? I don't remember it having, like, treads on it before. That's kind of cool. I like that. Let's see, is it going to sell anything? I guess not. Maybe I have to move it over one more. Now we can start selling. Okay, and that's going to clear up some of the lag right there. Oh, my God, guys. So fantastic. Again, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. And I am going to uh, figure a way to put batteries, shield generators, and a repair bubble onto my, uh, my flying bot. And as you can already see, it works. You just have to figure out the balance issues. And it's very, very touchy about where you put what blocks. And... I'm going to have to sit there and work at it and try to figure out on the next episode which one's heavier. Maybe you guys can let me know. Is the battery heavy? Is it the shield? Is it the repair bubble? Are they the same uh, weightness or weight to the to the two bubbles? And the battery should go somewhere in the middle. Uh, should I make the bot a little bit bigger to, to account for the weight? Maybe add more, uh, more pr propellers on the top? Maybe go three wide on that? Or I don't know. It's just, uh, it seems like we're just going to have to play around with it. There we go. Oh, of course. Uh, I just double-clicked on it, and half of my bot just popped right open. Yeah, that's, that's nice. There should be an easier way to, to flip back and forth between them. Yeah, there we go. And this is this design right here, guys, definitely works. The light, you could probably do without, uh, but you do want a weapon on here, man, and I don't know where to put it. It just doesn't seem to be able to support it without going forward. Maybe I can put the weapon in the middle and uh, move this uh, this radar module. I don't know how much those weigh. But it seems to be ideal right where it's at. So, again, it's just going to be trial and error. But we finally got one that works. And I am psyched about that. We got some really good pieces that we've been looking for for a long time. Because you can cover really good uh, ground with this and not get in fights every four seconds. So, I think this is going to make a perfect scouting vehicle. And ideally, if you can put some weapons on it, it's going to be even better for... In fact, I may just put weapons on all sides. Right here on the corners. Uh, on all four of these sides right here to go ahead and and add the ability to, to at least have weapons. Maybe uh, some of the weapons won't fire because they're in funky uh, positions or something like that. Um, if you guys have a, a table for how much the weapons weigh, like the different kinds, like the, the mortars and the, the three-pounders and you know the, the AK-47 one or whatever that one's called. Uh, I think it's like GK-47 or something weird like that. Uh, machine gun. I can't see it. Dang it. Move it up here. What's this one called? Yeah, the ZK-47, and basically the AK, they just replace the Z with an, or, you know, replace the, the A with the Z, so, uh, yeah, I don't know how much these weigh. This one is obviously pretty heavy to cause it to constantly, uh, move forward when I, when I was flying, so it was kind of cool to see that. I'm, I'm greatly enjoying this game, guys. Again, uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these episodes, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe definitely helps grow the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave your comments down below because I loved hearing back from you guys and I will catch you guys next time.